draw a circle here and expand X form, X form and select rectangle array select the entity that you want to trans translate here in rectangle array we have two directions and we can define number of instance that required in each direction I'm going to go for 5 and 5 and if you want you can define the pitch and direction angle of the uh, direction then you enter here as 50 or 45 degree and same goes for second direction also you can change the angle so based on your design requirement you can play around with this and directions to get a, a proper rectangular array and suppose if you don't want few instance here you can click this and select the instance that you don't like press enter and if you want to recall all the deleted instance you can reset it by clicking here and click OK next draw a rectangle and click on X form stretch and I select these three lines that need to be stretched and to define the vector where you can stretch is click on any one of the point and second point you can see that these three lines have stretched to a new position keeping this as a pivot point here you can either define the distance in XYZ direction or you can define the uh, vector selecting the uh, points or you can define the angle here any one of three methods you can use to define the new location and click OK next open the file roll to save time I have created uh, the sketch created the surface and here I'm going to wrap this sketch on this cylindrical surface for that click on X form roll then first you will be asked to select the geometry select this and click OK and this is for wrapping and this is for unwrapping I click I'm going to wrap this sketch on the cylindrical surface and next is uh, next I'll select the here I have drawn a, a circle and I have selected that as the diameter and you can define on which axis you want to rotate so I'm going to go for x-axis and which direction if you want to reposition it you can define the new orientation angle can see that based on the value I enter here the wrapped sketch is moving now uh, the wrapping is happening in same direction and if you want to move to a new position I have already created a sketch to define from two point you can see that we can move the wrapped geometry in the direction of uh, the vector which I had defined and here 
in under types we have two options three options here lines points and splines mainly we use lines and arcs or splines uh here what happens is on this particular uh, example we are project we are projecting a straight line an arc on a cylinder the straight line when uh, wrapped will become a circle and this particular sketch is in the form of very minute small lines fit together to form this curve shape so instead of that i am going to use splines it will be a single one after wrapping so based on your design requirement you can always opt for any one of the type next i will show you how to now from sketch we have wrapped the sketch on a cylindrical surface and we'll do a reverse go to x form go to roll select the geometry to unwrap and select this and select the geom uh diameter of the cylinder and now we can see that a sketch is formed from a, a curved surface then this sketch is project projected on the center plane that coincide with the axis of the cylinder you can see that based on selection of the axis the shape of the unwrapped profile get changed again if you want to reposition uh the unwrapped sketch you can go for this defining you can define the vector here i have already drawn the sketch so i am going to select the endpoints of this two again you can either go for lines or arcs or you can opt for spline just to cross check what we have done is correct is we go to analyze can see that the 3d length is 60 again 3d length is 60 that means this is perfectly wrapped on the cylindrical surface next we'll see a fit so draw a rectangle and sketch a line that can define can be used to define a, a vector click on x form click on fit i select this geometry then i'm going to select the vector and here this particular uh geometry is now reoriented and is reoriented based on the vector that we had defined if you want more instance you can enter the instance here still more and if you want to extend the margin you can define the margin distance and next is if you want to define the distance between the bounding box you can do that and you can change justification by dragging this to either left right or keeping it on the middle you can see that when i justify it to left by dragging this to left hand side again, the bounding box or the or the geometry gets aligned to the left hand side and if you want to offset the vector you can see that an offset of 
10 mm is uh, in the direction of vector happened and next is to define uh, the type of rotation or alignment uh, you open the file fit So under rotation and alignment if I go for align box you can see that the bounding box that uh, the sketch is covered is realigned based on the vector and if you opt for align geometry you have four options here select any one of the side so based on your selection the geometry gets reoriented it could be mainly used for strip layouts and all so based on your design requirement you can opt for any one of it and click ok